Hello my friends and welcome back to another episode of Flutter Explained. Today we want to talk about Get It Mixins. Get It Mixins is the state management solution from Thomas Burkhardt for his famous package Get It. And as you know, three weeks ago we already made a short video about Get It and we want to take now a look on how Get It Mixins work, where the idea comes from and after all we want to implement it in our state management tutorial with to-dos. So you can follow along and down in the video description below you will have the github repository where you find it and all important links to the different parts in the video. And now before I'm talking too much let's get right into it. But before we start now right away with get it mixins let's have a quick break and take a look into the last video where I talked about get it because Thomas Burkhardt was so friendly to me and pointed some points out that I maybe did a little bit incorrect and we can improve that a little Bit. So first of all, he pointed out that get it is not a state management solution. And he's right, with get it mixins, it gets one. The second part is I explained in my video that lazy singletons would just vanish somewhere in between and they would be go away. This is absolutely not the case. They are lazy singletons. That means that if they are loaded once, they stay loaded. And if you want to have them disposed, you would have to dispose them by yourself or you would have to use a scope model like he describes in his readme file. So check out his readme, you have a more information about you and get it. And the third point is that I called get it with get it get something. And what you can do is you can call the class get it directly and work on that. That is just some minor things, but just important to keep it in mind. Thank you, Thomas. I wanted to point that out here. All right, but now let's talk about Get It Mixins and what makes it special. First of all, Get It is a package that is used in a lot of different applications already and it is pretty popular. And a lot of people that I know are working with it frequently. And the thing is, they always had one drawback of it. It was not really a state management solution. So it was not possible to update your state regarding view models behind of them. So if data has changed behind in Get It somewhere it was not possible to update the views of your package. So Thomas thought, well, how can I improve that? Or how can I bring a state management solution? And he took the very good example, and this comes from Remy Roslet, and he created Flutter hooks. So now is the question, what is Flutter hooks? And or better, how is Get It Mixin was working? Because they are working the nearly the same way or in a very close combined way. All right, so Flutter hooks and Get It Mixin seem to be pretty close to each other. But why? Well, they offer you extensions methods for the stateless and stateful widgets. So that means they created mixins that you can invoke into your stateless or stateful widgets. And the benefit of that is that you can now access behind lying view models and access their data. And if something changed behind there, you can update your state. All right, so we have now these mixins and we can overload with method our different parts. So that means our stateless widget and our stateful widget can be enhanced with new functions or with extended functions. In our case, get or get x or watch and watch x and all the other parts that are working. Check out the readme file if you want to know more. But now we want to take a look into code and implement the different parts. I already prepared, as always, the state tutorial for that, where you will find the to-dos that you can follow along. And if you have followed them, then you can try to solve it yourself and trying to do it inside of the repository. You will find all the necessary links down in the video description below. And now let's get started. All right, if you follow along these tutorials of the state tutorials quite some while, now you see we have here our repository. You can clone it here and you will find different branches. And today we work in the git it mixin solution and tutorial. So in the tutorial branch, I created a multitude of uh, to do's and you can follow along the tutorial. In our code base, we have our first to-do. You can find them down here if you go to to-do and then scope base project files. Here you'll find all the to-dos. In Visual Studio Code, there is a fantastic plugin that you can use for that. 
So if you see here, we find the get it mixin and we jump into that page. Here you find the fantastic documentation from Thomas and he created a lot of information, like for example, how we can read data, how it works with the implementation of get it, how we watch for data and so on and so forth. So keep it a try and take a look into it to see and understand what exactly stands behind the tool. Then we can go to installing and as you see, we have here our dependency that we can directly use. Head over to Android Studio, put it at the right place, save and pop get. Good, so now we are ready to tackle the next to-dos. Let's remove this one and jump to to-do number two. Create a get it drinks notifier extends change notifier. Ooh, where have we heard that already? If you remember in the Riverpod tutorial, we had this drinks notifier already. So you know and remember this one maybe. So I will just repeatedly and take the whole thing and just replace everything that we have here in this case. And what I will do is import the drink here and bring in the change notifier from the material. You can take any of the imports. I just use material because it's convenient, but of course you can also use something that has less impact like foundation or widget. All right, so what we don't need is probably remove and add drink. We don't need the select drink and we just need the two lists of selected drinks and normal drinks. So we can remove all the others. Okay. So with that, we have solved to do number two. Let's head over to to do number three at the locator for get it. You maybe remember that this get it mixins works nearly the same like get it. So if you know the tutorial there, you can already create this locator here. So first we have to initialize get it as a new instance and we have to import now get it. The problem is if you just use get it uh, mixins, it somehow has problems to import get it itself. So you have to do it this way manually, but now it works and you have possibility to access it and we can remove the to do number three. In to do number four, we first have to initialize a method setup and then inside here we have to specify the get drinks notifier that we have created beforehand. All right. Now we just have to ask the locator to register a singleton. In our case, we register a drinks notifier. In our case, we have to make sure that we take the right one. And as you see, we import it. If we enter here, uh, we import it from the get it mixins part because this is slightly different in our case. All right. So with that, we have already created our setup method and initialized the drinks notifier. Next step is going into our main.dart. In the main.dart, we just have to call the setup method now. So inside of here, we call setup and execute and import the right method from the locator that we created seconds ago. So with that, we have concluded a lot of to-dos already. And the next step is to just jump into the get it mixin screen. All right, now we are here at to-do number six, add the get it mixins to the stateless widget. So we say with get it mixin, and now we imported it directly and we have now the possibility here inside of the build function to access new methods like get x. And if you remember maybe from the readme, we have also other options like watch or get and so on and so forth. So I highly recommend you check out the readme and read more about the other parts. But for us here, it is enough if we have get x. All right, so we are now able to access get x or get. Let's start with get. I like that because it gives you a whole understanding of the whole topic. So we import the drinks notifier and we get that now. Thanks to this method, we really receive the view model from this drinks notifier here and we can access all the different parameters like drinks and selected drinks. In our case, we just want to have the drinks. And now, as you see, we have now directly accessed that as a class. Another option, which I really like and comes handy because you could filter and do something like that, is using get x. It allows you to create a function where you pass inside the drinks notifier, which we call x for now, and we can ask here for the drinks. And now this part getting returned from get x. This is a very useful method that I highly recommend to use because I liked it a lot. Please let me know down in the comments below what you think about get and get x and also watch and watch x. Really want to know that. So I use now here get x again. We receive once more the drinks notifier. 
we get x and we return x dot selected drinks. Cool. Now we can remove to do number seven and eight. Here at to do number nine, we want to access now with get again our drink notifier. And here we have now the option to get the different drinks lists. But as you see, we don't have a method yet to execute to select a drink. So select a drink, not selected drinks. And we have to create this method. And as you remember, we copied a lot from the Riverpod tutorial. So actually we can use this method here and just take it over. So I will do that and bring it over here. And that's it. So now we have to pass down a drink and a selected flag. And with that, we can directly select a drink in our list. So head over to get it mix in screen, execute now select drink. And by passing down a drink itself and the selected, which is our value. And with that, we execute the select drink in our list. And that should update also the list. Down here, we already execute on the selected drinks list. And with that, we should automatically see the difference. So let's see, we start up an iOS simulator and test it in a second. All right, here we are back again. If I select now an element, you can see we get this element selected as we know it already. So the order is, is updating. We have all managed like before and it works fantastically. All right, welcome back. So we managed it to implement get it, And as you saw, it was super easy and super easy to understand where the data come from and where the data flows. This is very close to Flutter hooks. And I could also prepare a video for that. But if you take a look now into the package of Flutter hooks, you will understand the similarities there and maybe can directly convert all this information. Thanks again to Thomas Burkhardt for the information. And additionally, I hope he will also write here his comments down below so that you can like that also. Keep in touch. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and see you at the next time. Thank you.